This original WSRE presentation is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Escambia County Academic Challenge presented by WSRE. The Escambia County School District is pleased to partner with WSRE to feature some of our area's best and brightest high school students. I'm Jonathan Thompson, the host and moderator for tonight's match. This evening's competition will feature Pine Forest High School and Washington High School. I will now ask the students from Pine Forest High to introduce themselves. Terrence. Alexander. Bill. Alana. And the coach for Pine Forest is Richard Loisel. I will now ask the players from Washington to introduce themselves. Arvind. Yash. Emily. Zian. And the coach for Washington is Betsy Woolley. Please join us after this short break as we begin tonight's match. Growing up in the 80s, we used to play hide and go seek, hopscotch, kickball. All of a sudden, those streets I used to play in were flooded with violence and drugs, and it became a very dangerous place. I had to walk from my school through gang territory after gang territory after gang territory before I finally got home. There was a point where I looked out my window onto my street where my neighbor had been shot, and I really didn't see myself making it to 21. I have to say, I, I retreated to my living room to find safety, to avoid the danger. The living room television became a window, a gateway, into a broader world, a world that was closed off for me. If I ran home, I got to watch Bob Ross on PBS. Maybe there's a happy tree. Look at that. Not only was his painting technique almost like a magic trick, but after the stress of running home, it would just soothe me. Art is an extremely important part of my life. Today, I'm one of the founding members of Artists for Humanity, where I mentor young people to help them find creative solutions for the problems they see in the world. We use artwork to teach life lessons. I do my best as a mentor to keep kids out of gangs to make sure that there is a clear path towards success from my neighborhood. I found that path through PBS. Growing up, sometimes I felt despair, but when you can turn on the television and see a beautiful world, it gives you hope that you can make it to that world. Welcome back. Teams will have two 10-minute halves in which to answer a variety of toss-up and bonus questions. So students, if you're ready, let's begin. Your first toss-up. This tragedy took place on March 5, 1770. Americans blamed it on Captain Preston of the 59th Regiment, but he blamed it on a mob that was threatening British troops. Samuel Gray, James Caldwell, and Crispus Attucks were among the Washington. Americans. Washington. Player four. Boston Massacre. That is correct. Now your bonuses. Identify these characters from Cervantes' Don Quixote for 10 points each. First, Don Quixote asks what pot-bellied rustic to be his squire, promising him the governorship of the first lands they conquer. Answer, please. I'll answer. That is Sancho Panza. Next, what peasant girl is the lady love of Don Quixote? Maria. No answer. That would be Dulcinea. No points on bonus. Moving on to toss up number two. This phenomenon was first noted by Grimaldi and explained by Fresnel using Huygens' principle. It is associated with an equation stating that energy at an angle is equal to the energy at the center times the sine of the alpha all divided by alpha, 
where alpha is the maximum phase difference divided by two. This equation can be combined with interference equations to find out how much light gets to a particular point. Name this phenomenon defined as the bending of light as it goes around an obstacle. Washington, player four. Refraction. That's incorrect. Pine forest, player two. Incorrect, it was diffraction. Toss up question. This author achieved popularity both during his lifetime and after his death, though during the last year of his life only 40 copies combined of all his novels were sold. His first novel was This Side of Paradise in 1920, and his last was The Last Tycoon, left unfinished at his death in 1940. Name this portrayer of the Jazz Age who wrote The Great Gatsby. Washington, player four. Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald is correct. Your bonus, answer the following about the Magna Carta for 10 points each. First, by what English king, sometimes called Lackland, was the document signed? Charles I. Incorrect, it was King John. Next, in what year was the Magna Carta signed? Fifteen ninety-three. Not quite. Twelve fifteen. <laughs> Next toss up. In this building you can find panels titled The Separation of Light and Dark, The Drunkenness of Noah, and The Creation of Adam. It was built in the late fifteenth century, and the artwork was added in the early sixteenth century. Name this building in Vatican City, whose ceiling was painted by Michelangelo. Pine Forest, Player One. Sistine Chapel. That is correct. For your bonus, identify these acellular pathogens for 10 points each. First, they are the most common and are characterized by a core of RNA or DNA surrounded by a capsid or protein coat. Uh, Answer, please. A virus? Yes, yes, those are viruses. Next, similar to proteins, they lack a nucleic acid and are associated with degenerative nervous diseases, including bovine spongiform encephalopathy and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. I'm pretty sure it's prions, right? Prions? Yes, or prions, that is correct. 20 points on the bonus. This is a calculation question. Joe has only nickels and dimes. How many dimes does he have if he has 15 coins worth a total of one dollar? And that will be time. The correct answer is five. Question. This city of about 200,000 people was captured on August 13, 1521. Surrounded by Lake, Lake Texcoco, it existed on an island with several floating gardens. Name this city founded where the inhabitants saw an eagle perched on a cactus devouring a snake that thrived until Hernando Cortez took it from the Aztecs. Washington, player three. Babylon. That is incorrect. Pine Forest, player two. Tenochtitlan. That is correct. For your bonus, identify these terms from geology given their definitions for 10 points each. First, it is molten rock that is formed below the Earth's surface. Magma. That is correct. Next, this term refers to the Earth's crust coupled with the rigid upper mantle. Lithosphere. Answer, please. Lithosphere. That is correct. Next toss-up question. This element exists in gypsum, cinnabar, and galena. It exists in natural gas, but is removed before burning to control the subsequent formation of acid rain. Name this element that has atomic number 16 and is just underneath oxygen on the periodic table. Pine Forest, player one. 
Sulfur. Sulfur is correct. <coughs> for your bonus, answer the following about the Revolutionary War capture of Fort Ticonderoga for 10 points each. First, the demand for the British to surrender in the name of the Great Jehovah and the Continental Congress was issued by what colonel who led the Green Mountain Boys? Answer, please. Washington. Incorrect. That was Ethan Allen. Next, in capturing Ticonderoga, Ethan Allen acted without the authorization of what commanding officer whose treasonous correspondence was exposed by the capture of British Major John Andre? Uh, answer? Oh, Washington? Incorrect. Benedict Arnold. <laughs> Toss-up question. The name of this type of reference source comes from the Arabic word for weather, and indeed it traditionally contains weather forecasts and calendars. Recent ones, however, seem to contain as many facts as the publishers can manage to think of. Pine Forest, player two. Almanac, Almanac is correct. For your bonus, identify these silvery white metallic elements for 10 points each. First, this element's chloride salt is a substitute for table salt and is also useful in executions by lethal injection because in high doses it can stop the heart. Answer, please. Iodine. Incorrect, it's potassium. Next, because it exhibits almost no oxidation, this element is used in many alloys, particularly with aluminum and cobalt. It is also useful in electroplating and coins and in the manufacture of so-called memory wire. Answer, please. Nickel. Nickel is correct. Ten points on the bonus. Toss-up question. This instrument was greatly influenced by Theodold, Theobald Bame in the early 19th century. We know that it has existed in different forms for millennia thanks to an Egyptian drawing from 5,000 years ago. The instrument gained popularity in the early 18th century thanks in part to sonatas by Handel. Name this woodwind that has replaced the recorder in orchestras and has existed since the 4th century BC in its transverse form. Washington, player three. Clarinet. That is incorrect. Pine Forest, player one. Flute. Flute is correct. Your bonuses involve calculation. Find the area of the following figures for 10 points each. First, a triangle with sides of 5, 12, and 13. Answer, please. I'm sorry, that's time. It's 30. For your second bonus, a trapezoid with parallel sides of 5 and 9 and a height of 4. Answer, please. No answer. Correct answer is 28. Toss-up question. During this battle, Andrew Jackson and his troops received assistance from the pirate Jean Lafitte. The Americans soundly defeated the British, but it did not matter because the two sides had reached a peace Washington. agreement. Washington, player four. Battle of New Orleans. That is correct. For your bonus, given the two operas, name their composer for 10 points each. First, Aida and Rigoletto. Answer, please. Composer, Mozart. Mozart. Incorrect. <coughs> and you'll get one more bonus. The Flying Dutchman and Die Valkyrie. Mozart. Incorrect. That's Richard Wagner. We've reached the end of the first half. Please join us after the break for a score check. It's big, like go to different places, look everywhere, find stuff. It's fun. You have to bring your safari cameras to take pictures of the safari things. 
need to learn how to explore the world. When you support your PBS station, you're supporting possibilities. You're making sure there's a place for independent voices. You're opening children's minds. And you're giving everyone the chance to find inspiration from the arts. To discover more, be more. Support possibilities. Support your PBS station. Welcome back. At the half, the score is Pine Forest High with 100 points and Washington High School with 30. Both teams have made substitutions at the half. I'll now ask the players from Pine Forest to introduce themselves. Thomas Bacon. And I'll now ask the players from Washington to introduce themselves. Caitlin. Christopher. Thank you. And if you teams are ready, we will begin the second half. Toss-up question. This specific asterism, or part of a constellation, is formed by Alnilam, Alnitach, and Mintaka. The larger constellation featuring this asterism includes Rigel and Betelgeuse, and Pine represents- Pine Forest, player two. Orion's belt. That is correct. And for your bonus, identify these things from Japanese poetry for 10 points each. First, this Japanese poetic form consists of three lines and a total of 17 syllables. Haiku. Haiku is correct. For your second bonus, this 17th century author of The Narrow Road to the North is often considered the greatest master of haiku. No answer. answer. No answer? The correct answer is Matsuo Basho. So 10 points on the bonus. This is a calculation question. Question, solve the following equation. The absolute value of the quantity x minus 8 is equal to 10. Washington, player 2. 18 and 2. That's incorrect. Pine Forest, player three. X is equal to 18, X is equal to two. That is incorrect also, it's negative two and 18. Toss up question. This author was rejected from military service during the Vietnam War because of poor eyesight. Because he had never been on a submarine, he got assistance from his neighbor, Edward Beach, with his first novel, published in 1984. His novel's bad guys have included the IRA and South American drug cartels, and his best-known hero is Jack Ryan. Name this man whose novels include Executive Orders and The Hunt for Red October. <laughs> correct answer is Tom Clancy. Toss-up question. This term is used for climates where there is no winter season in terms of temperature, but there is a winter dry season. An example of this biome is the Brazil highlands, but it also exists in parts of Florida. Name this biome, perhaps most associated with East Africa, in which there are usually few trees and lots of grasses. Washington, player four. Savannah. Savannah is correct. For your bonus, identify these Charles Dickens title characters for 10 points each. First, this foundling is first apprenticed to the undertaker Sowberry, but he eventually falls in love, I'm sorry, he falls in with the gang of thieves led by Fagin. Answer please. Henry. Incorrect, it's Oliver Twist. Oh. Next bonus, after mistreatment at Ms. Creakle, Mr. Creakle's school, he goes to live with Mr. Micawber and marries first Dora Spinlow, and after her death, his true love, Agnes Wickfield. Answer, please. Uh, William. Incorrect, it's David Copperfield. 
Toss-up question. This artist painted Jesus Christ crucified to an unfolded hypercube. He often had a flamboyant appearance that included a cape and handlebar mustache. Some of his paintings include spindly-legged elephants and melting timepieces. Pine Forest, player one. Salvador Dali. That is correct. Your bonus. Indonesia has many islands. Identify the following ones for 10 points each. First, the sixth largest island in the world by size. This island is separated from the Malay Peninsula by the Straits of Malacca and is westernmost of the islands. Okay. Sri Lanka. Incorrect. It's Sumatra. Next bonus, the island to the southeast of Sumatra and separated from it by the Sunda Strait. It is the home of the national capital of Jakarta. Answer. Borneo. Incorrect. It's Java. Toss-up question. Named after a British scientist who probably annoyed his colleagues by talking about it so much, this subatomic particle is believed to confer mass to all other particles. A lot of time and money have been used to search for this object, and scientists are still not in complete agreement over whether or not it has been found. Name this so-called God particle. Washington. Player four. The Higgs boson. Higgs boson is correct. For your bonus, identify the architects of the following famous buildings for 10 points each. First, St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Answer, please. No answer. That is Sir Christopher Wren. Second bonus, the Guggenheim Museum in New York. What's the Answer, please. I'm sorry, that's time. It's Frank Lloyd Wright. Toss-up question. This punctuation mark is used to combine two independent clauses in a compound sentence. Name this mark whose symbol looks like a period on top of a comma. Washington. Player four. Semicolon. That is correct. For your bonus, given the stipulations of an amendment to the U.S. Constitution, identify it for 10 points each. First, ratified in 1913, it instituted the income tax. Oh, it's 11. What? 13. No, no, 13. Answer, please. Oh, 20. 40. No. I'm sorry, that's time. It's the 16th Amendment. Next, ratified in 1964, it abolished the poll tax. Oh, 26. No. 15. Answer, please. 13. 15. Incorrect, it's the 24th no, Amendment. Toss-up question. This organization has been headed by Roscoe Hillencoter, Alan Dulles, William Colby, George Herbert Walker Bush, William Webster, James Woolsey, and George Tennant. It replaced the Office of Strategic Services in 1947 and was important during the Cold War. Name this agency that has received a lot of criticism in recent years for not preventing 9-11 and for giving out misleading information before the war in Iraq. Pine Forest, player three. Homeland Security. That is incorrect. Washington, player three. FBI. No, it's the CIA. The next question involves calculation. Question. Y varies directly with X and inversely with Z. When X equals 2 and Z equals 3, then Y equals 10. What will Y equal when X equals 4 and Z equals 1? And that is time. The answer is 60. Toss-up question. This disease is classified as intrinsic or extrinsic depending on whether it is brought on by infection or by allergy. Histamines and Pine acetylcholines. Forest, player one. No answer. That is incorrect. Minus five points. I'll continue. 
Histamines and acetylcholines worsen the condition, but epinephrine can bring relief. Name this common disease caused by constrictions of bronchi and swelling of bronchial mucosa. Washington. Player three. Asthma. Asthma is correct. For your bonus, identify these 19th century English authors of humorous verse for 10 points each. First, this Victorian authored such poems as Jabberwocky and The Hunting of the Snark. Answer, please. I'm sorry, that's time. It's Lewis Carroll. Next, this author of The Owl and the Pussycat is credited with popularizing the limerick in his Book of Nonsense. Answer, please. Andrew. Incorrect. It's Edward Lear. Toss-up question. This character saves his son-in-law Marius by traveling through Pine the sewers. Forest. Player four. Jean Valjean. That is correct. For your bonus, identify these colorful figures of the American Old West for 10 points each. First, this marshal in many towns in Kansas and the Arizona Territory is most famous for fighting alongside his brother Virgil at the OK Corral. Answer, please. Wyatt Earp. That is correct. Your second bonus. This man was killed by Jack McCall, and I'll finish. This man was killed by Jack McCall in Deadwood in the Dakota Territory while playing cards. He was holding pairs of aces and eights, now known as the dead man's hand. The kid. Billy the Kid. Incorrect. That is William Wild Bill Hickok. Join us after the break as we review the scores from tonight's match. There is one stage that is the Met and Carnegie Hall. It is the Kennedy Center and a club in Austin. It is closer than any seat in the house, no matter where you call home. PBS, the great American stage that fits in every living room. Supporting your PBS station brings the arts home. Welcome back. The final score for tonight's match is Pine Forest High School with 145 and Washington High School with 70. I'd like to thank the students, coaches, and volunteers who helped make tonight's match possible. Please join us again here on WSRE for more of the Escambia County Academic Challenge. Thank you and good evening.